Good evening, my friends. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tom, and the color cast is on the air now for Thursday night, the 20th of August, 1998, from CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System, here in Los Angeles, California. Our old friend Bonnie Hunt is here tonight from TV and the movies and from her own web page on the Internet. Here is a sneak peek at the Bonnie Hunt homepage on the World Wide Web. There's Bonnie right there, her name in big, bold letters, and if you go to this website, you can find quotes that Bonnie Hunt has given media for the last 15 years. In every possible situation, Bonnie has had a quote, and they're all there at the website. Also tonight, Michelle Mitchell, who during her career served as the youngest member of the New York Times editorial board, and has a new book out on what the X generation, uh, X generation, what, what these people think and, and what they wish for America. You know, last night here at the end of the program, I mentioned that I had seen Les Moonves, who is the uh, president of CBS, uh, on the way out, and that he sent his personal regards to all of you and welcomed you home to CBS. And I saw Les again today, and for the four of you that emailed today and said, say hi to Les Moonves, your good wishes have been passed along. And Les appreciates that more than he can tell you, okay? <laughs> then last night I talked about the next door dog, Buddy. Remember the one that barks all the time? And I said, I had said to the, to the dog's owner, if I ever see Buddy in my yard, it's his last second here on Earth. Now, I, I said that, but believe me, it was more tough talk from Tom. You know that I'm a dog owner. I love my dog, Oliver, and all dogs dearly. I would never for a single second harm a hair on a dog's head, on a cat's head. I am so bad that if I hear a cricket chirping in my bedroom, I go and get a mason jar glass jar. You might not know what a mason jar is. It's a glass jar, and I gently put the cricket in the jar and take it out and put it next to the pool in case it wants to take a swim. I would never, ever harm Buddy. I had an email today. I'll read to you. Dear Mr. Snyder, I'm a longtime fan of your show. However, I have recently been left a bit confused by your stance on the Clinton-Lewinsky scandal. You seem to be the only person in the media who does not show an explicit opinion on the subject in question. May I ask why? Thank you, Philip Dane Puckett. Mr. Puckett, my father told me a long time ago, never argue a person's religion or a person's politics. And if I tell you what I think about Clinton, I'm in danger of starting an argument with some viewers, and I don't wish to do that. But I will tell you this. If I were he, I, I would quit. Uh, and the reason I would quit would be not to punish myself, but rather to stop punishing the country. Uh, this morning here in California, when the news came out about the bombing raids in Afghanistan against the terrorists, there was an immediate uh, rush on the networks and on many of the cable news networks to compare this to a motion picture called Wag the Dog, which, as you recall, was a motion picture about a president who was in trouble, uh, romantically, and created a false war to take attention away from his personal problems. And I thought to myself, you know, if, if, if Mr. Clinton had stepped aside on Monday and Mr. Gore were president, these questions would not be asked. I think it puts the country in a poor and sad position when we question the actions of this president now in what could be a very serious and difficult situation and compare them to a movie. So that's some of what I think. And uh, I don't mean to start an argument, but I just, as I say, I, I don't want to beat up President Clinton. I don't want to beat up his family. But I think for the good of the country, if we are in perilous and serious times, as he told us today, uh, then maybe it would be best if he were not the President of the United States. <coughs> and <coughs> shall we do Kids in Love or save that for tomorrow night? <laughs> it's pretty tough to... <laughs> in any event, I was wondering today, though, how it might be if, um, I'm going to do this, <laughs> if all those warplanes going out on missions now over the target areas had a pinup of Monica in the cockpit, just so the boys would know what they're fighting for. I'm Tom, you're watching CBS, and thanks for catching our pictures as we fly them through the air. Bonnie Hunt is among my favorite guests in the history of television. She has done her own uh, TV, sitcoms, uh, films like Jerry Maguire, currently filming mm. The Green Mile with Tom Hanks. That'll be out late this year. She's now waving oh, her yeah. arms. <laughs> a pleasure to welcome the flapper herself, Bonnie Hunt, to CBS. How you doing, Toots? Okay? I'm fine. Good. I was just teasing you. I know. Now, The shot. Green Mile with Tom oh, Hanks. Yes, Tom, love that. Yeah, yeah. The Green Mile, I read, is a film. The Green Mile refers to that area between the condemned cell and the electric chair. So this probably is not going to be a million laughs, this movie. No, it's not. No. It's a drama. Or a drama, like my dad would say. Yeah, a drama. Yeah. <laughs>
And Tom Hanks, you know, it's just wonderful to work. Or Mr. Hanks. Mr. Hanks. he insists on me calling him on the set. The guy's out of power. Had trip. you met him before or worked with him before, Tom Hanks? No, I, I never worked with him before, but I did meet him many years ago. He was filming Nothing in Common in Chicago. Oh, with Jackie Gleason. With yeah. Jackie Gleason, one of my heroes. And they were shooting at the hospital that I was working as a nurse at. And um, I snuck down to the area where they were shooting, and I just wanted to be near the movie, you know, just yeah. to see it happen. Yeah. And, uh, were you starstruck a little bit at the oh, time? Oh, gosh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and I got to meet Jackie Gleason and said hello to Tom, and uh, they thought I was in the movie. They thought I was an extra or something because I had my little nursing outfit on. Uh -huh. And um, later that evening, actually, I went to the the Maroon Raccoon or some jazz club in Chicago, and Jackie was there uh -huh. with his wife, and he was up conducting the orchestra with with motions I can't do right now, but they were very funny. I understand. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, uh, it was, it, he was great, and I went over to him and I said, Mr. Gleason, I. I um, I'm an actress, so, you know, I work at Second City, which is, I was working there at night, but I was working as a nurse during the day, and he says, you look awfully familiar, and I said, well, I met you at the hospital today, and he says, well, what the hell are you, a nurse or an actress? <laughs> I said, depends right, on the diagnosis, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jackie Gleason, Do, do you still greatest. have, like, your old nurse's uniform at home? Oh, you and every guy in the Army ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you? I wear them as pajamas yeah. with the white tights and yeah. heels. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Husband like it okay? Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think like a little nurse game, you know, it's... <laughs> Pep it up, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. you made this picture only you. And mm -hmm. I read this after where you went to Italy, you know? It was right. a nice picture. And I remember reading that, that you went to the White House for a screening of this picture. And I don't want to get into this whole thing that's going on at the White House because they're said they've been listening to it all day long. But, like, what's it like as an actress when you go and you have a picture and it's being screened by the first family? Well, you know, you're getting invited to the White House. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. And I had done the movie Dave. Right before that, with the I was the tour guide. We're walking, we're walking, right. and we're stopping. Yeah, and so I got there, and I was couldn't wait to go in. And they're gonna have like a little dinner, and the whole cast was there, and everybody's kind of being let in. And before you went, there's something there. What's the matter with you? No, there was something in the air. I saw it. It's gone now. <laughs> like Ed Norton. Remember when <laughs> Jackie Gleason and Ed Norton they drink the grape juice? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. She, they think it's wine, and he goes, I feel like I got hair on my face. Couldn't even get my head through the manhole this morning. Um, Anyway, I digress. Will you, will you, will you? <laughs> anyway. Remember when Gleason was saying to Norton, will you, will you, will you? Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Brings back other memories for me. Um, but <laughs> anyway, we get to the White House. Remember when he'd say, oh. you know, Alice, I don't know what hour, what minute, or what second, but sometime tonight, you are going to the moon. That's right. <laughs> Bang, zoom. You're the type of person that would, he'd say to Alice, you're the type of person that would bend over on April Fool's Day and pick up a wallet. I wouldn't. She goes, you couldn't. <laughs> I remember his mother-in-law at their wedding. She walked around saying, I'm not losing a daughter. I'm gaining a ton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or then when he's trying to get the money for the no-cal pizza, he says, Alice, don't you understand? This is the biggest thing I've ever gotten into. She says, the biggest thing you've ever gotten into is your pants. That's right. <laughs> Oh, that show was the greatest. And I worked with Audrey Meadows, yeah. and what a thrill. The yeah. biggest thrill of my life. Yeah. And I then, the... remember the time when she's leaving and he says, don't leave, Alice. You can't put your arms around a memory. She says, I can't put my arms <laughs> around you. <laughs> oh, but enough God. of that. You're at the White House. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, nothing compares to that, to the honeymooners. But I'll tell the story anyway. So we're at the White House, and before you go, you have to give your Social Security oh, sure, number, yeah. and they clear you through Secret Service mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And we get there. And before we're going to walk in, they stop myself. We, we is my husband, your husband. And I. Mm -hmm. John. Yes, for now, till the career takes off. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> so we, they stop us, and they said, um, "We're sorry." They said to my husband, um, "You weren't cleared. There was some problem with your social security number." So my husband says, "Well, what number is it?" And they show it to him, and he said, "Well, that's the wrong number." Oh. So they said, "Okay, well, give us the real number." And now we're waiting, and Marissa Tomei and the other actors, and Norman Jewis, and everybody's in. And now they keep coming out to get me. They're saying, "Bonnie, just come on in. Your husband will be cleared in a second. And they said, "No, you know, I think I should wait and mm -hmm. go in with my husband because you never know with Bill." Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there you go again. <laughs> I don't need to be the single dame in that room, and, and I got the Hillary do. Uh, so anyway. <laughs> We're waiting, and now 10, 15 minutes is going by, and we're still waiting. They come over, and they say... And I was worried about my little line about the Monica picture in the, in the planes, right? Jeez, go ahead. Please, how about the address? She gave the address to her mother. My mother said, if you sent me a dress with a stain on it, I'd shout it out. Remember that stuff? <laughs> um, <laughs> such an old joke. I'm glad... <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that up, because every guy in America is wondering, why would you send a soiled dress to your mother? Wouldn't you send it to the cleaners?
or maybe throw it away? I, I don't understand the whole thing. I'm confused by the whole thing, and I'd like to pretend that it didn't happen. Okay, so we're at the White House, and we're waiting for the husband. Speaking of that, I'm at the White House with my husband. Yeah. So now 10, 15 minutes comes by, and this, one of the Secret Service guys comes out, and he says to my husband as he's standing next to me, have you ever been in prison? Am I, and I'm now listening attentively. Yeah. And he says, uh, no. Um, anything we should know about? No. He leaves. Now half an hour is going by, and we're standing there on the front lawn. And now is uh, Mr. Jewison inside? Everybody's inside, all except inside. us. We're standing yeah. on the front lawn mm -hmm. of the White House with our six-pack, waiting to get in the party, yeah. you know. And uh, so the guy says, so now 40 minutes goes by, and the guy comes, and he says, listen, there's a little bit of a problem. It's going to be about 10 more minutes. Miss Hunt, why don't you come in? And I said, no. So I look at my husband, and he's completely deadpan. He says, Bonnie, I have to tell you something. And I said, what? He said, my name is Peter Adderson. I'm married. I have three children. I pushed him down. He said it so seriously, I completely believed him. Uh -huh. I said, well, of course. I could never be happily married. That would never happen. He's a phony. And uh, so that's when I found out he was married with the three kids. No, he's not. But, I mean, he, he did do that to me, and I did, I did push him down. But he has a In, in, in the interest of pacing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very funny. Could we move into the White House where the Clintons are and Mr. Jewison and Ms. Tomei? Oh, you want that part of it? Yeah. I don't know what you're going for. <laughs> I'm never known with men. Um, so so we heard. go inside. And <laughs> um, so we go inside. He and finally it, gets cleared, right? Yeah, he gets cleared. John. I Hi. thought you wanted his little thing. All right. So anyway, uh, we go inside, and they do pictures in the Oval Office. Always. Right. You know, you get Except to, on special occasions. Well, certainly. <laughs> yeah. There's no cameras allowed. And so we go in. And I know nothing about Bill Clinton. I'm not involved in politics. Mm -hmm. I'm just at the White House. Mm -hmm. I've stolen some stationery in the hallway. Mm -hmm. I've done what I've needed to Looked do. Looked around, nice place to look it over, right? Right. There. And and the mood was very jovial in the Oval Office, or I would never I even imagine. thought <laughs> <laughs> about making a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it, Bill had taken me down the hall to meet Dee Dee Myers because I was the tour guide. He's like, she's here. You know, they were all talking about. It. So we get back in the room, and now Bill's going to take. But what does he say, Bonnie? I'd like to take you down to meet Dee Dee Myers. Well, that's the line he uses with all us gals. <laughs> <laughs> what size you wearing, Tom? That'll put it out. Um, <laughs> old neighborhood. <laughs> so, anyway, he goes to put his arm around me. Oh, the president. Well, yeah, because we're taking a photo. My now, husband, where is where is the husband at this point? He's on the other side of Bill. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's right there. Okay. Right. We're all in Bill's and Bill's in the Mr. Whatever his name is now, Mud, I guess. Mr. Clinton. Right. Is in the middle of in the, between us, and. When he puts his arm around me, it's, you know, everybody's watching the picture picking, and I went, whoa, Mr. President. <laughs> now, I have no idea. This total hush falls over the Secret Service. They're all like, of course, now I'm going to be subpoenaed by Star. I'll be next. And my mother will be up there with me, coming out crying. I can't believe what they're talking about my daughter. My mother, we're going to be big. I tell you, big. This Clinton thing's going to make us big. So there's a hush over the entire. Yeah. Yes. And they're all looking, saying, not her. Well, too. yes, he pitched her. They're thinking he did. Yeah. It was a horrible moment. My husband was so upset with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, I did stay that night in the Lincoln bedroom. Oh, did you really? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Norman Jewison did. Uh -huh. And like, was he cordial and Mrs. Clinton cordial? They were they, very nice, yes. And like... Hillary sat behind me during the film. Mm -hmm. Did she laugh a lot? Or... Yes, she did, Good. but she had been drinking. I don't know if that's right to say. <laughs> I don't want to well, can, can you blame the poor dear? Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah, I, I'd have a straw in one of those wine boxes next to the bed. <laughs> Let me uh, take a fast break here, and maybe, maybe some of your friends will call in tonight as they did the last time. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never lived that down. <laughs> never. Uh, Bonnie Hunt uh, is our guest tonight. Her newest picture, which will be released this fall, is called The Green Mile. The toll-free is up and running, and we'll be right back after this short break. With Bonnie Hunt, here's Lynn now on the toll-free in Greensboro, North Carolina. Hi, Lynn, and welcome to CBS Late Night. Hello. Thank you, and hello, Tulsa. Bonnie, my question to you is what would have to happen in your career for you to consider to go back to nursing? We need nurses like you. <laughs> well, I could suggest I a few things you might want to look at. No. And I love them. But I was nursing for five years, your... but then I got so sore. Um, <laughs> another bad bit. No, you know what? You know what's tough? Is that... Crack 
up. Come nurses. on. Come on. Crack up. Come on. You know, it's tough to be, you know, they should have, I think, nurses and doctors now that are medical school. What they do is, because the old guys did it, they make them work these ridiculous hours, and everybody's, you know, deprived of sleep and tired. I think, you know, it would really be a wonderful system if they let these doctors work maybe 10 hours at the most. When they're residents, do you mean? Yeah. yeah, because they have these guys that are half asleep working in the emergency room, and God knows I worked with them, and they're making decisions, and I think... My problem as a nurse is I really got so involved with every patient. I mean, I treated every single person as if they were uh, a member of my family, which means I didn't speak to them. Uh, no. <laughs> See, I work the night shift, so I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. oh, but I you did. ask a good question, Lynn. What would Bonnie have to do in her career to bring yeah, her back to nursing? What would I do to sabotage her career so she'd go back to nursing? <laughs> Maybe a sitcom on CBS, Lynn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Might send her right back. <laughs> Les Moonves keeps telling me you're such a good nurse. <laughs> um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I do, I still work with the hospital. I work with my brother's hospital in Chicago. He's a doctor, and I help him raise money for research. He researches hypertension. He's a, uh, an internist, and he's an incredible doctor. So I do keep involved with that, and also with Dr. Rosen at Northwestern University for the Lurie Cancer Center. This year we had 4,000 people turn out for our big walk against cancer, and a mm -hmm. lot of my uh, patients were there, and a lot of my patients' families, Good my patients you. that Good didn't survive. So you see Lynn, she keeps in touch. That's right. Well, I'm glad to still hear that you're somewhat in the medical profession. Okay, well, Lynn, I'm thanks sorry, for... it's not a lot more, Thank but... you. All right, good night, young lady, and good thanks night. for being with us. Bye-bye now. Uh, I've known you for a long time, and I know that you and your husband, John, right? Yes. Well, what is John, what is his business? Um, we've never known. <laughs> he's an investment banker. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So he's having a fun time this month, isn't he? Yeah, it's been really crazy yeah. with the stocks mm -hmm. and everything. Choo. Yeah, one minute he's laughing, the next minute he's... Not talking. But you and he recently purchased your first home here in Southern California. Our first you, home in you, California. You've been renting for some time. Here, yes. Mm -hmm. We've always owned our home in Chicago, mm -hmm. and uh, so we just got one here. <laughs> um, you know, in California, it's a riot. In the Midwest, you, you, you mow your own lawn. Mm -hmm. you know, you, I thought when we got the home, now we're homeowners. That's you know, right. You get out there and you do the work. Right, little homespun values. Right? Yeah, and um, so now I know all the gardeners. <laughs> I don't know many of my neighbors, yeah. but I was out there. One of our next door neighbors is a handsome male star oh, really? actor. And Would you care to divulge who this is? No, I'd rather not. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm just, kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So anyway, I'm in my bathing suit and I'm like in the pool and it, there's nothing in the house. We're working on the house, but I'm st I can't wait to get my hands on the garden. I've dug up all these. Your hands on the gardener? The garden. Oh, the garden. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You haven't seen my garden. And I let the gardener go because I said to him, please don't put poison on the grass. I don't want any poison. I'd rather have crabgrass. I'll take it out myself. I don't want any. He goes, yes, yes. And the poison's being dumped on everything. It was like a nightmare. So I said, you don't have to come anymore. It's all right. I'll do it myself. Um, and I did get a five uh, horsepower lawnmower electric cordless. Uh -huh. Very good. Really cool. Very good. So anyway, I get into the garden. I get let's out of the pool. Let's go back to you in the bathing suit. Let's, let's... All right. So I'm in the bathing suit. Okay. <laughs> Kids next door are trying to push me back in the water to save my life. And um, so... <laughs> I get, I'm looking at the garden. I thought, you know, I'm going to put, I'm going to start putting some seeds in and some stuff. So I get up and I have the, the shovel, and I should go in and put on shorts and a t-shirt or something. But I'm in my yard, and I'm shoveling dirt and kind of working. I'm really getting into it, and I look up and I see Mr. Handsome Actor Guy oh, right, yeah. looking over the like. There's only like one part of the fence that is uh, not I, privacy I, area. I got you right. right. He's kind of peeking at Bonnie in the bathing suit, checking her out. Right. Oh, so I have a hat on, baseball cap, and sunglasses because you know I don't want the sun on this gorgeous skin. And I see him looking at me, and I don't want him to think it's me. Right. So I put the shovel down, and I go, "Ay, caramba, cuando ring with un cuando nada, mamá, tía Luisa," and I run in the house. <laughs> I quickly change into a sundress, uh -huh. and I walk back out in the yard, and I go, "Maria, Maria." <laughs> then, two days later, I'm in a worse outfit, right? And I happen to run outside in the front because I look at the spot, and I say, "Oh gosh, that little that little piece of." Uh, plant needs a little stick next to it. Oh yeah, right. So I go and I take a plastic fork because I haven't gone yet to the, you know, Armstrong's to get the little plant sticks. And I put it next to the thing and I'm tying it on and I look up. And there is this guy. Mr. Gorgeous neighbor. And he says, excuse me, Bonnie? No, no, I'm her sister, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's 17 people living in my house. <laughs> Well, why, 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 even, why, why are you trying because to... Because I just, I... Why keep your identity from him? You know his identity. But because, well, because he has obviously has hair and makeup people staying at his home. He looks great all the time, you know, and I look like me. Why did you wait so long to buy a home? I mean, you've been squandering rent money here for years, for heaven's sake. Um, well, 
I loved where I lived, and I have really sweet neighbors. As I mentioned to you earlier, A.J. Russell, you know, the guy who wrote The Honeymooners. Honeymooners, right. And he's an elderly gentleman, and we're friends. And actually, one time... How about when Alice and Ralph are in the restaurant with, with the couple, and he thinks the other guy's a big success, and he's going to offer to pay the check, and he thinks the other guy will pay the oh, check. Oh, that's, yeah. And then the guy says... Humana, humana. Oh, and Ralph says, I'll get it. And he says, thanks a lot, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> humana, humana, humana. Well, that's what always happens. Yeah. Remember when she, they went over to her, the, the fancy friend's house? Oh, you're right. And then she right. says, um, your husband's a treasure. And then she walks away and Alice goes, he's going to be a buried treasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, but enough about that. Yeah. Now, has mom seen the house? No, not yet. Only in pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When's she coming out again? Um, soon. Yeah, good. she'll be out. As good. soon as I, I just finished the garden and the house is being worked on. Very but, good. Very um, good. More from Bonnie Hunt and you on the toll-free. Bonnie is now, will soon be starring uh, along with Tom Hanks. Tom has a very minor role in the, in, in the Green Mile. <laughs> if I'm in the editing. There is a title that drags you into the theater, right? The Green Mile? The Green Mile. It's a, gr it's a, it's a wonderful story, though. I didn't say it wasn't, Based but I said it's a, it's, it's, King. It, it's a title that just rips you into the theater. All right. I'm teasing you. It's a great title. It's going to be a great picture. I mean, it won't I be. I wear my bathing suit in it. Oh, then I'll go. It's yeah. a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back with Bonnie and you after this break. With Bonnie Hunt, here's Jody in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. Hi, Jody, and Hi. welcome to CBS. Hello. Hi. My question was, um, I really enjoyed the movie Jumanji. Thank you. It's a very good picture. Yes, it was. And, um, Bonnie, I wondered how your rapport was with Robin Williams on the set. Oh, just, we had the greatest time. I mean, he's... <laughs> Robin is, you know, he just has that occipital roll of a dex in his head and where she stops, nobody knows. You know, in his head. It's oh. just, he just has this, this, uh... See, I don't know what occipital means. Occipital. Oh, occipital. Is, yes. But what does it mean? Well, it's behind the eyes. Oh. Couldn't you just say he had the Rolodex behind his eyes? <laughs> I guess I could have. Okay. We'll fix it in post. Okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> Honey, um, this is post. <laughs> but we did. I know. That's why I love this yeah, show. Because yeah. it's just the work's over when you leave. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes the career <laughs> almost ends. Yeah. <laughs> no, Jody, we really, we had a great time. And Robin is, uh, you know, he's a joy to work with. And he was so nice to my family when they came out for the premiere. And uh, You know, just talking to Jody brings back great memories to me because my dad used to play at a golf club in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, the North Hills Country Club. Do you live nearby, Jody? Yes, I do. It's very beautiful. I know. I remember going there with my mother and father when I was a boy, and I have not seen Menominee Falls on my call board here for some time, and it's nice to talk to you. Well, it's nice to talk to you. Thanks, Bye. Jody. Bye, Bye, Jody. Goodbye Bye. now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Oh, she was very sweet. She's a very, very nice person. Mm -hmm. Now, did well, with the new house, you and John, that's the husband? The investment banker. <laughs> yeah. I've never met John. I think I did once. Yeah, you when, have. When you brought me the shorts from Green Bay. Mm-hmm. It's the cheese head. the evidence I had. <laughs> but they were clean. Um, you and John have the house, so you probably didn't take a summer vacation this year. No, no. We, we really don't take vacations. Did you as a kid, did the family go away? I remember, you know, Mother Snyder and my dad and my brother would go up to northern Wisconsin to yeah, the lakes. Yeah, we'd, we'd to go cottages. to, like, Bangs Lake, it was called. Bangs it was like Lake. Half <laughs> <laughs> Only you would come up with Bangs Lake. <laughs> Tom, that and if you tell me no, you got no. a brother named Mike, you're out of no, here. No, no, please. My mom's watching. I love your mom, and she, she loves right me. Right now, she feels she has to shower. <laughs> well, not shower, but certainly wash her hands. Oh, I mean, right. you know. Do you know what my mom, here's my mom. My mom had seven children. I'm going to tell the world this. She had seven children, and when I was in nursing school, I had one of my little books. I'm always talking to the crew, guys. I had one of my little nursing books out, and we were studying the reproductive system of the woman. Uh -huh. You know, all the different... Yeah, things. organs and passageways right. and folds. And he was sitting on the kitchen. <laughs> Why would I ever bring up the female re reproductive system with you, of all people? Well, would you be would you be better served if I didn't give a wit about it? I know a really dirty joke. You oh, want to hear it? Yeah. There's a no. I probably shouldn't. Oh come on, mom's wa mom's washing her hands. <laughs> There's a woman who lives next door to this other woman, and every day her husband comes home with flowers. <laughs> this woman keeps saying, no, I can't. You got to now. Oh, no, I really should. You, you can. It's okay. All right. So what, anyway. are they, what are they going to do? Cancel the Bonnie Hunt show? <laughs> All right. <laughs>
<laughs> if Les could, he does it every day. I think he goes in his office. Cancel her. Um, it's been done, Les. It's been done. Um, <laughs> he wakes up in the middle of the night. Cancel her. His wife says, Bonnie's off the air, Les. Take it easy. Take it well, easy. If you'd have gotten this funny stuff on there. <laughs> no, the best was when I said to him, what, what don't you like about the show? He goes, I, don't, I haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, this lady living next door. No, no, I'm going to go back to the nursing book. I can't do that. No, you got to no. do it now. Come on. Uh, well, every day, no, no. I'll you tell got you Come on. Oh, every day his, her husband brings her flowers. The next door neighbor lady says, how come every day your husband brings you flowers? I can't. You have to do no, it? No, I'm not doing it. No, I have to. This is like a high school party and I'm not drinking the beer. Um, <laughs> anyway, my mom sees my nursing book and it's open to the woman's body. Oh, the reproductive organs. Right. And she walks by and she looks in the book and she says to me. Now it's between this and the joke. Think about it. No, this is it. Okay. This is because this is true. And she looks at it and she says, oh, well, I'll be darned. <laughs> and I said, what, Mom? Well, is all that going on down there? And I said, yes. And she said, oh, my soul. I said, Mom, you had seven kids. Oh, I know, but I didn't ask any questions. <laughs> That's a true story. Oh, I know, but I didn't ask any questions. And then when I asked, oh, the first time I found a box of feminine napkins mm -hmm. in the bathroom, I go, Mom, what are these? She goes, they're Barbie doll mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have Barbie and Ken sleeping on Kotex. <laughs> Surf's up, you know. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I, her explanations for things were just beyond me. We laugh all the time. I said, Mom, what were you thinking? She goes, oh, I didn't know anything. I just thought you guys would figure it out. <laughs> She's so sweet. I love your mom. That's oh, very, very dear. Just the Remember sweet. the ads? There was another product, uh, a, a feminine product called Modes. Remember that one? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. But remember, they would always have a... <laughs> I'm so afraid of you when you're on this topic. Oh, God. But, oh, God. Would, Don't would... touch me. I... <laughs> Okay. I understand no, unlike some others. No, okay. No, I noticed you wore the tie I sent you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they would always have this picture of this beautifully uh, uh, coiffed and gowned woman. Yeah. And it would just say, Modes, because. And I would always say to myself, because why? <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, a, it's a, my mother always had this thing that if something's happening that you don't like, call me, I'll come pick you up, no questions asked. Uh -huh. That was always what she said. On my wedding night, I get a card from my mother, I open it up, I'm sitting in the bed, and my husband's taking a shower. And I open it up, and there's a little That's quarter. That's John, the husband. Yes. Yeah. The, investment. the investment bank. Yeah. And uh, the quarter's taped in there, and at the bottom it says, if you don't like him, call me, I'll come pick you up. Oh. <laughs> she was there in 15 minutes. <laughs> it was out of that hellhole. <laughs> poor guy. Yeah, Man's a saint. Poor guy. In any event, you know I love you dearly, and I hope to see you again before we go. And thanks for a great time tonight. I really enjoyed being oh, with you. Oh, thanks, Tom. I'm, I want to come back. And I don't want to judge the guy who's taking your place. I don't know him. I understand. But I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor the next time when you come back, okay? Mm -hmm. Wear the nurse's uniform. Oh. It would mean so much to me. Okay? I will. Okay. We can play hospital. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Bonnie Hunt is the guest. The picture, which is coming out this fall. At I could get a general anesthetic for that, couldn't I? <laughs> for, for what? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. We're so filthy. Why do we go in the gutter? Could you just let you me... You guys, we're going to do it all over again. Everybody reset. Could you just let me clean this up and get on with it now, please? Okay. <laughs> I, I have the youngest right. person who ever sat on the New York Times editorial board coming in here. Wow. Yeah. She should get a job writing or something. She already has a job I writing. Know. She has a book out, which will soon be in the uh, Worldwide Pants Library. We have our own library. <laughs> My, her parents are here. Michelle's parents are here. Really? They're, yes. Well, let's Michelle go say Mitchell's, hello, shall we? They're very sweet. Bonnie and I will be in in just a second to say hello, Michelle, to your mom and dad, and we'll be right back with all of you out there on the uh, on the TV uh, TV screen uh, in the speakers right after this short break. Get off.